customer. Uh, there's only a handful of nine. We always always look for the change in case you found one, wasn't it? <laughs> All the sc- yeah, well, they had that, uh, that small farm on the edge of town. That's where Grandma and and um, and Horry lived. Yeah. And the, the other farm was, what, about 20 miles away or something, wasn't it? Uh, it wasn't that far out. I was about 10, 15, but um, I've forgotten the name of it. But it was that farm and they had another area of land somewhere close by that they ran cattle on. I remember seeing the first of the... Um, cane toads. Cane toads, yeah, well they had masses of those. Yeah, you pick one up and carry it up at the grandma and you're going to give it to grandma. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But the... Um, <coughs> all the, the Indian cows with the hump on their back. They had oh, the, the bull yeah. yeah, that's right. It was a farm up there. Mm. Well, a farm up there station of some sort. And we went to the Mandarin place where they had a pool. Yeah, yeah that was the uh, um, mother and son. Um, oh shit. The Darrods? I wouldn't know who they yeah, were. The Darrod, Darrod, I think was their So name. they were neighbours or friends? Friends. They were, they were a few miles. From, mm-hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> I remember the, the boy was late teens or early twenties and he used to use a nine iron to hit the cane toads over the river. Oh, all right. Yeah. Must have been outlawed now and not allowed to hit the cane toads with a nine iron. We went to the dentist who had his rock collection in the dental was a dentist in town in Gaindale that had all these thunder eggs sliced. Yeah, I remember something about it but I can't mm. recall the detail. And um who was the relative that had the Queenslander house in Brisbane that we used to stay with? We stayed there twice. Ah, Aunt Agnes. Yeah. With Mun's um, relative. And uh, Jean, Jean, Jean Mum's. Yeah. Or Muriel Mum's. No, Jean. So how did she... F- uh, um, Aunt Agnes. Yeah. Um, she was a sister of... Um, Yeah, what was her name? Anyhow, there were there were sisters, and one of them lived in Victoria, and that was Aunt Agnes lived up in in Queensland, and she had some sort of business. It was quite a a, a material female frock links and that sort of thing. I've forgotten the details, but Aunt Agnes, she was uh, quite a wealthy old tart. So she'd be one of Alf's relatives, or because yeah. she wouldn't be, um, <coughs> she'd have to be Alf's side of the family. I think so, yes. yes. Now, there was the other old biddy, we got that funny hinged chair out of, we had an angle theatre around you. Who was that? Where the, and the biscuit barrel came from her in Melbourne. The lady we used to visit, and we got the hinged wooden box chair we had at angle theatre, and used to flip backwards with the hinge. Mm-hmm. And we went there. <coughs> And we got the biscuit barrel and the glass little blue box. I think Julie's got. Uh, that. I think if I remember rightly, she was a friend of Nancy's. Yeah. She wasn't a relative. She was a friend. But I, uh, other than that, I can't tell you much about mm. it. I must have a tea. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> 